Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode we're looking at Luminar 4, but specifically I'm going to look at the uh, the curves filter inside of Luminar 4. I want to really dig into it because there's a lot of mystery I think around curves. A lot of people are uh, not sure what it's used for, how you can use it, and it's a really powerful tool. So I thought we'd really dig into it today. So let's get started. We're going to start out with uh, coming up to the uh, layers icon here and come to the plus sign and let's add a new adjustment layer. We're going to work on layers today because that's going to be the best way to show you how this works because we're going to do many different things with uh, with the curves filter and we're going to need a bunch of different layers to do that. Okay, so you'll see, but let's get started here. So I made a new layer and we can go ahead and name this, uh, let's call this latent image or just lighten, that's good enough. And now we'll come down here to Essentials and the Curves is gonna live in the uh, Light, in the Light tool right here and it's gonna be found under Advanced Settings. So just open up Advanced Settings. Now the first thing we're gonna do is very simple. We're just gonna lighten up our image with Curves. So Curves is very good for lightening your image. So just come to the Curve here and just give it a click. That puts a little point on it right here and we're just gonna drag up on it. And just like that, we're going to lighten up the image. And basically what we're doing here is lightening all the midtones. So that's the first thing we're going to do is lighten up the midtones. Now we can come up here to the uh, layers and click the little checkbox and we can see the before and after. So right there, we just lightened up the midtones. So that's one thing that we can do. Now I'm examining my image. And now after I lighten the image, I feel that this water here is a little too bright because my eye is going right to this water. So I want to tone this water down. So again, we're just working with curves today. So I want you to really understand how curves work. So let's add another layer and click the plus sign here. And it's important that we add another layer because we need to make another curves adjustment. And you can't use one layer and keep adding different curves adjustments. You have to use multiple layers to do that. So we're adding a new layer and let's call this one, let's rename it and let's call this one, let's see, uh, darken, darken water. Okay. And now we're going to come to the essentials here and our curve should still be open from the last time. If it isn't, you can just come to advanced settings and open it back up and make sure you're in light here. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is now I can just take this curve and drag it down and darken everything and then mask this adjustment into the water here and uh, we could do it that way but I'm going to show you a different way that we can do it too. Uh, by the way to get rid of a point here just double click it and that'll get rid of a point. So you might have a bunch of different points on here. Okay and so if you double click them they go away. So that's important to know. Alright so now let's go ahead to the edit mask. Let's get ourselves a brush and now we're going to do a paint in and let's turn our um, come to this little eyeball and give it a click and that turns the mask on so we can go ahead and paint our mask onto this water here now my softness is at 100% which is where I like to work the opacity is at 100% so let's go ahead and just start to paint a mask on this water here with that nice soft feathered brush just come around here and I'm, I'm a little sloppy here and fast, but it is a tutorial. So let's just go ahead and finish painting the rest of this in just like this. And let's click on done. So now that mask is right there and you can see it. So now when I pull down on this curve, it's only going to affect that water. So there we go. So we can pull that down like that. And if I want to brighten up the highlights in this, in this water here, I can take this, I can add another point right here and just pull up a little bit like that and see I'm maintaining some contrast in there but it's definitely darkened it down now if we come up to the layers icon and click this uh, darken water checkbox there's the before and the after but see that how nicely we've done that and then we also have this adjustments amount here that we can take this and we can if we went too far we can start to pull this down and ease that off a little bit and get that right and basically what I'm doing here is trying to get the image tonal balanced okay and by the way, I'm also going to leave a link in the description below so you can download this image in case you want to work along with me. So, all right, but there we've darkened the water. Let's go back to the Essentials tabs, back to our Curves adjustment here. Now, you'll also notice, and this is really nice, you notice we this first dot right here that's lit, this deals with the luminosity of the image here, this first curve here. Then we have a red, a green, and a blue, which represents the three color channels 
that uh, digital editing software uses, okay? And there's red, green, and blue. Now, the opposite of red is cyan, the opposite of green is magenta, and the opposite of blue is yellow. So this is really cool. So we can alter color with curves too. So let me show you what we could do. Say if we're not uh, really happy with this color in the water here, and uh, this may be the color that the water was, but we might say, you know, for my artistic vision, I want it to look a little different. So for instance, we can click on this blue right here. And we can, if we drag up, we'll make the water more blue. If we drag down, we'll make it more yellow. Because remember, the opposite of blue is yellow. So let's say we want to make it a little more to the blue side. So we just pull up a little bit here. And then we can go to green. And of course, we could pull up and make it green. Or we could pull down and make it magenta. Or we just might want to make it slightly uh, less green. So we'll just pull it down just a little bit. And a lot of times, it's just a slight little adjustment. Now let's go to the red. And remember, the opposite of red is cyan. So if we pull up on this, we'll make the water more red. If we pull down, we'll make it more cyan. So we may want to make it slightly more to the cyan side for our artistic vision here. So that looks pretty cool. So let's come back to layers here. Let's click the checkbox. So here's the before and there's the after. So there we go. And remember, we can always come back here on the essentials and we can come back to the luminance uh, dot right here click it and you know if it's too dark we can pull up a little bit or readjust that and make it look just the way we think it looks right so curves as you can see are pretty powerful not only can they make luminance adjustments but they can also make uh color adjustments as well and a lot of professional editors use curves for uh, color grading their images to give their images a nice cinematic look so that's pretty fun Let's go back to the layers icon here and let's add a new adjustment layer. Let's go to essentials here. Uh, I just wanted to show you something with the curves here before we get started with some more adjustments here. But you may notice here you also have these three dots right down here. Now this is uh, basically if you've ever worked with Photoshop or some other uh, photo editing software like Affinity Photo or whatever, you're going to notice that they have a, an, an adjustment called levels. Now, um, Luminar 4 doesn't have a lev levels adjustment per se, but it kind of does, and that would be right here. This would be just like a levels adjustment. In other words, this deals with the highlights of your image or the lighter tones. This is your midtones, and this is your shadows. So if you take this shadows dot right here and move it to the right, see how the, this whole curve slides over? And we are darkening up the image when we move that over. Okay, so let's pull it back. Same here. We can... Uh, change the highlight point of, or the light point of range by moving it this way, like this. And see this dot is lining up with here. And this is a way you could set your white point of your image. Um, Luminar has different ways of setting light points, so I don't really use this. But I just wanted to show you this, that you could alter your uh, white point here by moving this over, just like in a, in a levels adjustment, or your black point by moving this over, like this, like sitting that dot right on there would set the black point, okay? And taking this dot over and pulling it right under the histogram on the right side sets the white point. And then we could adjust the midtone. So if we move it this way, we'll make our midtones lighter. And you can see the curve actually goes up, right? Or you can move it this way and make the midtones darker. So I wanted to show you that. And if you double click these, you'll reset them. So we have our curves here and we have them not made an adjustment yet. I'm going to show you something really fun here. Let's go to Edit Mask. And you know how, if you watch some of my past videos, how I love Luminosity Mask. So when I click this, I'm going to make a Lights Luminosity Mask right here. And if I right click it, I'll make and invert it, I'll make a Darks Luminosity Mask. Okay, so it'll alter. So let's go back and invert it again and make a Lights Luminosity Mask. And I'm going to show you here. I'm going to make two different layers. One, a Lights luminosity mask layer and one a a darks luminosity mask okay so now that i've made that lights luminosity mask there under edit mask when i uh adjust this level or this curve up it's only going to affect the lights of the image isn't that cool so if i want my lighter tones just to be affected i can pull this up like say for instance like this fog over in here in my sky back here all the light areas in my sky and any light area in the image will get lighter as I move this up and isn't that cool so right like that so so we can use luminosity masks in conjunction with curves and lighten like light tones or dark and dark tones next we're going to do dark tones so let's come back up to layers let's go ahead and rename this layer we've just made and let's rename it lighten lights 
Now let's come and click this plus and add a new adjustment layer. And this time, I think I'm going to do something a little different because I'm working with dark tones, but I'm looking at these dark tones and I'm thinking they're still a little bit on the dark side. So we'll rename this in a second, but let's go here uh, to essentials and we're still working with curves here, but let's do something here. I want to lighten up these darks a little bit. And uh, we're going to use a luminosity mask, so let's click on the luminosity mask here. And it's going to make a light's luminosity mask, so we're going to right-click it and invert it so it's only dealing with the uh, darker tones of the image. But what I want to do is I want to anchor this curve down, and you'll see what I mean here in a second. Let's click a point right here. We'll click another point here, maybe another point here. So I don't want to affect my light tones at all. All right, so I'm, I'm using these points as anchors, and now you'll see what I want to do. So I want to lighten up these darker tones here, okay? So I'm going to come here, add a point, and pull up on this. And these points here are going to control this curve, so it's only going to deal with the darker tones, okay? So I'm going to lighten up the darker tones, but I'm starting to lose some contrast, so I'm going to add another point right here in the more shadow areas and pull down a little bit, like so. See, I maintain some contrast then. So let's go ahead and... Um, come to layers and click this and you'll see what I've done here. So that's without this adjustment. So you notice I've lightened up my dark tones, but I've maintained contrast down here, which is really nice. Now I may not like what's happening on some of the rest of the image here, like in the water in here. So I may want to take that off of the water. Let me click this one more time and really study the image here. Yeah, I like what it's doing pretty much everywhere but the water and maybe these uh, mountains back here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come to this edit mask right here. And we're going to go to brush. And I'm going to come up here to erase. And what I'm going to do is just erase that off. Now I'm erasing it off the layer. I'm going to erase it off the water here. So we get none of that on the water area here and a little bit back in here. In this section back in here a little bit off that mountain right there now let's click this right here so we can see the before there's the before and there's the after so before and the after and also up here I don't like it I'm still in the uh, mask mode I'm gonna take it off of here and I'm gonna take it off of over here And let's see, here's the before and the after. Let's click done because we're done masking. And now let's rename our layer to um, Lighten Darks. We're almost done. One last thing again, I'm examining my image. And I think this area right around here in this sky up here is a little bit too light. So we're going to come up to layers and add a new adjustment layer. And we're going to go back to Essentials. Let's go to Edit Mask, and let's just work on the light tones up in here. So let's go to Luminosity Mask, and that makes a light's luminosity mask right there. And this is something I haven't showed you yet. See this point right here on the light side of the curve here? We can click on this and drag it down and watch. We're only going to affect the lightest tones, and we can, we can drop those light tones back. In other words, it won't be quite so hot, and maybe somewhere somewhere right around there. We'll come back and readjust this, but right now I think there looks pretty good. Now it's covering the whole image. So let's click on layers and come to edit mask. And this time let's get a radial mask. And it says click and drag a circle. So we're just gonna click here and drag a circle. We'll start to drag the circle like this. And let's pull on it this way to make it more oval shaped. And let's move it around to the area we want it, like around here, and we can adjust it. Let's make elongate it a little bit here, maybe widen it out here a little bit. Now if you look at the curve right here, it's still in the opposite of what I want. So let's come here and click invert. And now it's only going to affect the inside of the circle here. And we want to elongate this a little bit more. And this is the feathering action across here. Let's adjust this. And we can come here and adjust that feathering or make the circle larger or smaller here. And if you drag it here, you can make the feathering section, you know, less feathering or more feathering here. This one makes the circle larger or smaller. Okay. But I'm thinking maybe right around in there. 
looks pretty good. And now we can come back down to the essentials here and let's play with this a little bit more here. And we're only affecting that uh, what's in that uh, circle in the mask. So maybe maybe right around there. And you notice when I went back to Essentials, the mask actually shut down. So right there is looking pretty good. Maybe a little bit less. And basically what I'm trying to do is balance out my image. And I really love curves for balancing out your image. And uh, that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and rename this layer. Uh, let's rename this uh, Darken Highlights Sky. Just so we know what we've done there. Now, one final thing I might do to this image, I think it needs a little bit of contrast, so I'm going to use a curve to add contrast. So we're going to come and add a new adjustment layer. And back to the essentials, and let's just pull up on the, high, on the lighter tones here, like so, up in here. And let's pull down on the shadow tones a little bit, and that'll add some contrast to our image. This is known as an S-curve, by the way, and it's a great way of adding some contrast to your image. Now, whenever you add contrast to an image, you're going to increase your saturation a little bit. If you didn't want to increase the saturation, this is a nice little tip. You can come back up here to the layers and change this blend mode from normal to luminosity. And when you do that, it's not going to affect your colors so much. So let's take a look at this before and after. So we just popped a little extra contrast in there. Pretty cool. Well, hopefully after this video, you're not going to be afraid of curves. It's, it's not that hard to use, and it's, it's pretty effective. You can do color grading. You can do uh, tonal balancing of your image. You can lighten areas, darken areas. It's super powerful, so start working with those curves. Now, we started out with this image here. It was kind of dark and uh, kind of broody looking, and we changed up the whole flavor of the image right here just with curves. One filter inside of Luminar 4 curves. We used it on many different layers. Now let's go ahead and uh, click this eyeball so we can see here's the before and here's the after. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. Hey, thank you very much for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see each and every one of you right here next time. But until then, happy editing.